Welcome to the Get Your Mind Right podcast. Every day, I want to be the first voice inside of your head, the first voice that motivates you to move. I put out these powerful segments every single day because I know the truth. The truth is that when you change your mind, you change your life. So let me, Ryan Suman, the hardcore closer, get your mind right. Sometimes you just got to let a motherfucker fail. You know, we, we see people get ripped off every day and we think it's our part to like save people, but it's not. It's not. Sometimes you just got to let somebody have an experience on their own. Why? Because human beings learn from experiences. My kids will ask me questions like, dad, what happens if you do this? Son, try it. <laughs> you know why? Because they need to learn from that experience no matter how painful it is. If it doesn't kill them, it is a learning experience. But guess what? If we put them in some kind of bubble and we keep them from having these experiences, guess what happens to them? They don't have the experiences. They never grow wise and they become fools. You see, if my kid never experiences getting his ass handed to him in karate, then he doesn't know what that feels like to want to avoid having that happen to him again to try harder. If my kid doesn't, if my son doesn't know what it feels like to lose at soccer, then he'll never try harder He'll never try harder to win because he doesn't want to experience that again. I've talked about this in previous episodes, but kids will ask you, what happens if you touch the stove and you tell them you'll burn yourself and they'll still fucking touch the stove, but then they won't touch it again. You know, I tried cocaine when I was 19 years old. I thought I was going to have a fun experience. Turns out I died. Turns out I overdosed. Turns out it was a one of the Worst days of my life, but turned out to be one of the best experiences of my life because of the things that I learned. You know, we talked about this before, turning your worst days into your best days because they're the learning experiences. Well, I died from cocaine and I had to have that experience because now I know that I will never do cocaine ever again in my life because this shit killed me. And they tell you all the time on TV, drugs will kill you. Drugs will kill you. Drugs will kill you. I needed that experience. You see, we try to spend our time keeping people from getting ripped off by other people in the business. You know, when I was a mortgage guy, I knew that bank rate was lying. I knew that lower my bills was lying. And I tried to save everybody, but they needed to have the experience in order for them to make it real. Because seeing is believing, right? Seeing is believing. Seeing is an experience. When you, if you saw a ghost, you would believe your entire life that there were ghosts. If you saw firsthand somebody rip somebody off, you would believe that that person's a thief. But if you don't experience that, if you hear about it third party, it's not the same. It's not the same when somebody goes to college and they get an education versus somebody who goes to work and they gain experience. The person that's gained experience is going to go so much further in life because they've already got those experiences that the person simply heard about in college. Now, I'm not knocking college. I'm not knocking degrees. I'm just saying that I'm further ahead. There's probably four people in the town that I grew up that are on the level that I'm on, that were anywhere near from, you know, any, within 10 years of me. One of them's a lawyer, two of them are my clients, and another one is a lawyer. And they're probably the only ones living financially free the way that I am, and every one of them, except for the two that are my clients, went to college. But guess what? The two that, were my, the two that are my clients, you know what they did? They went to work. They went to work. When they left high school, they went to work. You know what I did when I left high school? I went to work. So while many of our peers went and got an education, went on to get a, a bachelor's, a master's degree, a PhD and all this other stuff, they're not seeing the success that we are. And that's okay. It's a good path for them, but they're not seeing the success that we are across all four areas, faith, family, fitness, and finance. They're not seeing the success that we are because they went and got educated versus experience. You got to let people have the experience because seeing is believing. You see, I saw people make a million dollars in the mortgage industry, so I believed it was possible. You see, I, I saw people making a million dollars a day. I saw Frank Kern and them make $24 million in one day on the internet, so I knew it was possible. I knew I could make a million dollars in a year because Frank Kern and them made $24 million in 24 hours. And this was a long time ago. I knew it was possible because I saw it. I saw it happen. I, sh I was part of the experience. Hell, I was part of the $24 million. I, I paid the money for the product. You got to let motherfuckers fail. You have to. 
You have to let them bump their head into the wall so that they realize that walls are boundaries and boundaries are meant to keep you from crossing the line. Because seeing is believing. Hearing, eh, hearing's not believing. You never hear that phrase. You never hear, well, I heard it must be true. Most of the time they say, well, I heard it. So that means that it's not true. But if you saw it, you see, you have to have a vision. You have to see what you say so you can hear what you said. In other words, first you have to have vision. And then you have to speak, right? You have to speak. So first you have to see it. Then you have to speak it to prove that you saw it and believe it. Then you tune your ears in. That's why when you, you are a kid, you play the game telephone, right? So you turn around to the first person, you whisper in their ear, John has a telephone. And by the time it makes it around the circle, it's like John committed murder, right? The story's changed a bunch of times. But it start, the game starts out as you see something in the room and then you whisper that thing into the kid next to you. But the rest of them did not see it. All they did was hear it. So it got convoluted, third party transferred and everything else. You got to let people see it and experience it. You can't save them. I used to think that I, I'd see people that were signing up for people's programs online and I'd be like, dude, that guy's a ripoff artist. I know I've seen it firsthand. He's full of shit. But then it ended up creating a bunch of enemies for me. And then when the people actually saw it and experienced themselves, it'd only make it worse for me because then they didn't want to come back and admit that I was right because that meant that they were a moron that didn't listen. But most people don't listen, but everybody sees. So quit trying to save fools. Let people have experiences and just trust in the process that they'll come back to you. If somebody thinks that they're going to leave you for a better person and you know that you're the best person they'll ever have, let them have that experience. If they come back, it's meant to be. Seeing is believing. Hearing ain't shit. You heard? Hey, if you know somebody who needs to hear this, if you know somebody who needs to have some real life experience, somebody who needs to quit trying to save everybody else, somebody who needs to understand the boundary, share this with them, share it on social media, send them a direct message, an email, all that good stuff. Leave me a review on iTunes and then make sure that if you want to surround yourself with people who are having experiences, making things happen together, go to BFA, that's short for Break Free Academy, BFA Entourage. Comment, watch the video that I've got waiting there for you. Catch you on the next episode.